Hello and good evening. Welcome to Istanbul, the city where East meets West. This is the EuroLeague women and a very important battle between Fenerbahce and Beretta Famalaskia. Well, you look at the standings and you can see the precarious position that the Beretta family skier are in right now at eight and five in fourth place. You need to be in the top four to advance to the quarterfinals. Fenerbahce have already locked up first place. Spar, Girona breathing down the necks of Skio and no doubt watching this game. And they'll be pulling hard uh, without a doubt. Uh, for Fenerbahce to get the win, so uh, that would give Spartarona a chance uh, to then advance uh, to the quarterfinals ahead of Skio. Spar would then have to beat uh, their rivals, their next rivals, Basket Longs. Uh, so right now, all of our attention is on this Fenerbahce team. Uh, when they're playing at their best, they are awfully tough to beat. Uh, certainly, uh, Skio uh, came up with a formula uh, the first time these two teams met. Uh, earlier in the season and uh, Skio of course uh, they expect to be around later in competitions certainly uh, this Fenerbahce team uh, talented and looking to hit uh, the postseason on a roll they're going to be watching their former coach in fact George Dikalakis used to be at the helm and right now it is uh, Victor LaPena and look at who he's got in his team. Sato Savali has uh, become not just one of the top players uh, here in uh, Turkey, but also the uh, entire yearly women. She is exciting. So uh, we're going to get a chance to watch her and also an uh, interesting uh, acquisition or signing uh, of late uh, just several days ago. Skio bringing in Abby Gay, who actually uh, began at Basket Lawns and moved to Chopron Basket and Skio looking uh, for a little bit of help on the interior uh, were able to bring her uh, to Italy. Uh, so she's had several days to practice with her new team and will be looking to hit the ground running or hit the hardwood running uh, today against the powerhouse. That is Fenerbahce. Two teams met uh, back in uh, Italy, back in Skio on November 2nd. It was a Beretta family Skio winning that one 64 to 60. Uh, George Dikalakis knows uh, as well as anybody that teams change, uh, opponents make uh, tactical adjustments, and uh, he will know this is going to be a different game. He's hoping it'll be the same result, at least a W for Skio as they try to advance. Uh, but they're going to have to overcome, as you can see, uh, one of the most talented teams uh, in Europe, and led by that man who's coming off the high, in fact, of coaching Canada in the FIBA Women's uh, Basketball World Cup Qualifying Tournament in Osaka, where they lost in overtime to uh, Japan, or, uh, but they, then they won resoundingly over Bosnia and Herzegovina. So uh, he's uh, now got his attention firmly focused uh, back on his club and hoping that, to lead them uh, all the way to the title. So uh, the Skio team has come here no doubt confident, understanding the stakes, Sandrine Bruda, Richard up, Georgia Satana as well. There is the uh, France International who did not play for France uh, in the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifying tournament. Uh, she was held out uh, for cautionary measures so her actions was felt as France lost two of their three games. You can see Abby Gay there, number three, looking to settle in and to make an impact today uh, for Coach Dick Lacus and Skio uh, against this Fenerbahce outfit. When you talk about Fenerbahce, uh, take your pick. Who do you want to talk about? You want to talk about Kayla McBride? Do you want to talk about. Uh, any number of their uh, top players. They have got some good ones. Randy Sawi, uh, Jai Shakur, and also they got Janet Janetez. They've got uh, maybe the best of all and maybe the best player in all of Europe, Alina Yagapova. 
the Ukraine International they are a team that expects to win the title they certainly know that it's going to take a lot of work but Fenerbahce have got as good a chance as anybody uh, to lift that trophy at the end of the season so right now they top group B and that is how it's going to be for them as they go into the quarterfinals it's been an, a terrific regular season campaign in the early women probably UMMC at Katzenberger the only team that doesn't have to have highs and lows they just have highs they're, they're so good so deep so talented uh, but Fenerbahce up at the top of the standings yes they have been uh, convincing uh, in most of their games but they haven't been perfect and again uh, as a reminder Skio won the first battle between these two teams back in November so the referees from Norway Romania and Northern Macedonia Viola Georgi Alexandra Stein and Alicia Frevsky The, the main weapon uh, when these two teams met before, uh, scoring 17 points, grabbing eight rebounds, uh, and when she drew the attention, she was also fighting her teammates. She had four assists, and that was a uh, typical Sandrine Gruda-like performance uh, for as long as she's been a professional player. She has been outstanding over the years. And we'll get a look as well at uh, the starting fives for both of these teams. Right now, they're both going through their final warm-ups. Hey, you talk about the peaks and the valleys. Well, we'll start with a starting five for Skio. It's going to be Diamond to Shields. Uh, Satana, Gruda, Jasmine Keys, the Italy International, and Katija Laska. Katija Laska, rather, who uh, also had a big game when these two teams met before. Del Perro, Gay Mestag, the Belgium International, Verona, Kripa, Andre, uh, and Dotto coming off the bench for Coach Dikalakis. starting five as well. Really kind of an interesting uh, setup for the Skio team with Abby Gay coming in. Be uh, interesting to see how many minutes she gets. So keep your eye on Satu Sabali, uh, Shakur, uh, Williams, McBride, and Yagapova. Be in the starting five along with Zawi coming off the bench, Kirkland Loomis, Janitez, Simshek, Yilmaz, Hartley, Bria Hartley, all play for coach Victor La Pena. Uh, George Dikalakis putting his uh, team through their final uh, instructions. And you can see Victor LaPena as well.
So getting ready to get it on here between Fenerbahce and Beretta Famalaskio and Williams jumping center. Elizabeth Williams jumping center against Sandrine Bruna and Fenerbahce winning the opening tip. Yagapova the pass and the foul. And Williams gets the first two points. And really, you know, you look at Yagapova, great all-round talent. Her passing has really taken her to a different level the last couple of seasons. She is utterly sensational with her ability, especially those bounce passes. And three-point play starting things off for Fenerbahce. So keys over to... Now down low to uh, Gruda. Tija puts it up and three pointers short and wins with the rebound. Quick outlet pass to Yagapova. Shakur. We got Shakur to Yagapova. Share the basketball. Shakur has it knocked out of her hands. And somehow uh, Satana able to save it before it goes out of bounds. Oh, some contact and a whistle and the charge. So the charge called on Diamond to Shields. Seemed like it was a little bit delayed, the whistle. But that was the right call. You want to make sure you get the right call. No, no doubt about it. They got the right one there. The referees want to check something over with the table. The commissioner. So the Shields has the tough defensive assignment. Now she switches over to McBride, who's the third leading scorer in the competition. And Diamond the Shields take it away, takes it away. And the dump down low and Gruda blocked by Williams. And driving in and banking it in. First two points for Ojai Shakur. The Shields, dangerous pass. And losing it out of bounds was Katija Laksa. Oh, Josh Shakur target. Passes down low to Williams. And the penetration, Yagapova. Well, Singing her praises with the passing. That time, not on the same page with Sabali. And Bria Hartley checks into the game. So the reach and the foul called on Fenerbahce. You, know, you get the feeling they need to just get that first bucket so they can settle down. And good defense, forcing the ball out of the hands. Here comes Kayla McBride. Oh, she misses the layup. Great hustle by Williams, but not able to knock it in. Uh, it's uh, about as easy as a shot you're going to see. And of all players, you would not expect a miss to be Kayla McBride. Kayla McBride played for the USA also recently in the uh, 
Women's World Cup qualifying tournament. Uh, the USA played in Washington, D.C. They hosted that. Now, the baseline jump shot is good, and Skew finally off the snide. So Sandrine Gruda gets her team on the board. Now McBride, little turnaround, and scores over Laksa. Now Laksa. Satana and just kind of grazed the net. And Eskio came here looking to punch their ticket for the quarterfinals. They have not had a good start. Here's Hartley. She's played for France's national team over the years. And now quick pass to Sabali. She scored. And Keyes committed the foul. And we talk again about the passing. And Keyes is a good rebounder, usually a good defender, but that time uh, Yagapova just whizzed the pass past her, and she's uh, already uh, causing problems with her ability to find her teammates. So timeout called by Skio. United. Inspiriting. Competitiva. Ambiciosa. Stylish. Powerful. Diverse. Diferente. Verabla. Inspiring. Well, you get the feeling, uh, Nice crowd today, by the way, coming in to support uh, Fenerbahce. Of course, it helps that they're one of the uh, main title contenders or the main threats to UMMC hegemony in this competition. Uh, but they've, they've got a lot of calls for hope Fenerbahce to at least get to the Final Four and, and maybe even lift the title. Skio come out of the timeout. Remember, they need to win. If they don't win, then they are going to need a favor from Basket Longs uh, who take on Spar Girona. And uh, Spar Girona were to win that game and capitalize on a Skio loss, then it would be Spar Girona and not Skio to reach the quarterfinals. So the three point play by Sabali. And it's an eight-point advantage. The Shields doing a little shaking and baking. Pulls up and good hands. Yakupova getting in her grill. Sabali. Over to the wing, McBride, or, and stepped out of bounds. Caleb McBride has uh, had another solid season for Fenerbahce, to put it mildly, averaging 19.8 points per game, 4.7 rebounds, and 3.2 assists. He has played at an all-star level. Sambali knocks it out of the hand. Now throws it right into the hands. Satana of McBride. And she gets it over to Williams. And a reprieve for Skio as uh, Fenerbahce missed another layup. Hartley, meanwhile, makes it an even worse situation by punishing him with a three-pointer. Fenerbahce looking imperious right now, like uh, no pressure. They just want to come out and really take care of business. So, Abby Gay has checked in, number three. Fenerbahce playing with a couple of twin towers, so to speak, with Gruda and Gay. And Laxa. Saves it, turns it over. 
Quickly in the transition, Fenerbahce and Bria Hartley comes back out. McBride. Here's Williams rebounding the miss over to Sabali. Good! Well, this has gone from very uh, poor viewing for Skio fans to an absolute horror show. They are trailing 16 to 2. More than halfway into the opening frame. Skio just kind of going through the motions right now. So Martina Kripa has checked into the game, has, as has Constanza Verona. Both of those two players can call, bring a real spark to the team. And they need it big time right now. Verona over to Laxa. Verona and a reach and a foul called on Hartley. in, hits the ball, and it goes off of Gruda and out of bounds. Sabali, the Germany international. Preeminent. She is a force. The Williams has been very active as well. They've done a nice job putting this roster together. At Fenerbahce, Hartley coming over the back after the miss. Good job by Verona. Good young player, Verona. She's going to get a lot better. And you can see her defense there is outstanding on Hartley, moving her feet. And Chakra Turgut comes back in. Nice matchup here with Verona and Chakra Turgut. No real opportunities. Everything's contested right now. Groot is so good that she's going to have a, a good looking. She's going to make a tough shot look like it might go in, but even that time she didn't get the drop. And Elizabeth Williams. And you better watch out, Skio. You might be run out of the gym here in this first quarter, trailing by 16 points. Kripa launches it. Good hustle, Verona, on the baseline. Abby Gay hustles in, ball goes out of bounds. Well, if there is one hope uh, for Skio, it's that player right there. Mestag, Kim Mestag can gets you back into a, a game in a hurry with her ability to knock down three-pointers. I would be awfully surprised if she got many open looks. Victor LePeña will be well aware of what she can do. Here's Yagapova. Gets into the paint, and her pass intended for Williams. Gets more joy out of uh, collecting those assists. Zowie comes into the contest. So it's Shakur, Yagapova, McBride, Williams, and Zowie for Fenerbahce. Oh, just a, a really poor pass. Mestak gets back on defense. And Yagapova makes the layup. And no, folks, you are not looking at a mistake. This Fenerbahce team is turning it on right now, leading it 20 to 2 over Beretta Family Skio. We still got two minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Again, you talked about 
her skill set. And definitely her passing is, is tough. This game being played in the Metro Energy Sports Hall. And it has been one-way traffic so far. All Federbache. Somebody needs to lift up the Skio team. And really, you got to hope that Mestag will get some touches. She's being guarded by McBride. Some, somebody's going to have to set a screen for her. And she's going to have to find her way to get some space. Here she is coming to get the basketball. And Gay misses everything. drive once again to Williams and it's all Yagapova folks I mean yeah that's the finish by Williams but it's Yagapova that is putting pressure on the D and now Shaco Turgut challenges the inbounds pass and forces the turnover what is wrong with Skia lost it able to get it back and good defense out on the perimeter Obis Andre another Italy international ties up Yagapova remember the skier team won the first meeting by four points back in November now the pass out to Shocker. Oh, she nails it. 25 to 2. Unbelievable. Lacks up. Verona. Tough shot. Well, Skio would like for this to be a video game and just uh, hit the reset button and start over. This has been absolutely appalling uh, by their lofty standards. Satana checks into the game and Verona goes back out. Uh, but it just doesn't seem to be getting any better at all for Skio. Much better execution on this end of the floor for Fenerbahce. Another three. Nope. And the rebound, Zowie. He passes it down low to Shocker. And Shocker goes up and is fouled as well by Satana. Almost uh, unthinkable that Skio, with the stakes as high as they are, could come out this flat against Fenerbahce. 28 to 2. They trail. Mestag. Well, that's a, as good a shot as any uh, for them in the grand scheme of things, but even that doesn't go down. Fenerbahce, their confidence must be soaring right now as Shocker has it. And Williams drives in, misses. So the first quarter mercifully comes to an end for Skio. Fenerbahce 
with a stranglehold on proceedings. They lead it 28 to 2. simply cannot show up at a yearly women game and just try to kind of ease into the contest. You've got to be ready to go from the off and as well as a Fenerbahce have played today. Askew simply, we're not ready. And I don't know who you point the finger at with that one. The players have to be, have to have their intensity at a certain level or else it's just going to be a uh, one-way traffic, and that's how it has been. Fenerbahce came out, and once Fenerbahce established control, it becomes even easier for them because they can play loose, freedom, passing it around. You see the smiles on the faces. So before this, Skio won last trip to Turkey here in Istanbul. They beat Galatasaray, a good Galatasaray team, 80-67. to uh, They did have kind of a, a nightmarish result at home against Dinamo Kursk, losing that one back on January 26th, 80-64. Uh, but before that, uh, they had won uh, a couple of games in a row, edging Chopron back in December. 21st, and then, and then on January 22nd, uh, winning convincingly over Arca Gdynia. But I, I dare say, I, I don't know if any of these players in this Skio team have ever been in a game for any team uh, when they trailed 28 to 2 at the end of the first quarter. I would think not. Unbelievable. And the ball falls kindly to Gruda. Woo. And Zowie going to get the basketball. Looked like she might have caught uh, Olvis Andre underneath an egg, but it's going to be uh, Fenerbahce basketball. Shocker. Shocker target. Another jump shot. For the Turkey International. 28 point advantage. And again, this is a, a, a rematch of a game played earlier this year in Italy that was won by Skio. McBride. And Yagapova, which has got a beautiful release. Nice rotation on the basketball, but that was short. And Yagapova reaches in and commits the foul. And I'll tell you what, Hannah, uh, rather uh, Kim Mestag may be a little fortunate there that that whistle blew. Because Yagapova also very good hands on defense. Very quick hands. Gruda backs up, steps back, and finally gets it to drop. Mer mercifully. 30 to 4. Skio right now need to win on this end of the floor. They've got to rebound as well. Zowie Over the shoulder pass to Gruda. Now Mistag thought about it. She puts it up. That's off. And there for the follow is Gruda. Well, thank goodness uh, for Skew that Gruda's here. Another player that you would imagine would know how she has to make sure she capitalizes on those types of plays. 
McBride. And now the miss. And Obis Andre rebounds it. Satana pushes it up to the, the Shields. Diamond to Shields. Over to Gruda. Money in the bank. Sandra and Gruda heating up. And back to a 22 point game. She can't do it all on her own, but at least she's given them a little bit of hope. So, Beretta Famalisquio having been, having been uh, thrashed in that first quarter have come out, I should say 30 to 8, it says 30 to 6, it's 30 to 8 in favor of Federace. So all the points have been scored by Sandri Bruda for Skio. There you go, the points have registered. I mean the thing is, you know, you could you could go on a 20 point run, 20 0 run if you're Beretta Family Skio. In fact, 22 24 point run, you still wouldn't be leading. I mean, now you could go on a 20 point run, you'd be trailing. It's just a long way back. And all you got to do is focus on every possession, especially on the defensive end. And you cannot allow those second opportunities. To, you've got to rebound those misses by Fenerbahce. And the other hope is that maybe Fenerbahce kind of lose their focus a little bit. If you're a Skio basketball fan. McBride. Quick pass. Goes out of bounds. Diamond to shield. Weaving her way in. You know, she's an explosive player. Here we go. She's going to drive in, and she's going to put it up and in. Oh, she's tough. And now it's a 20-point deficit. Good defense by Mestag. Knocking it away. The pass up to the Shields. And the skier comeback is on. Best way to get back into a basketball game is to hit three-pointers or to force turnovers and get points off turnovers. McBride goes in. Quick shot, one and out. And again, Skio. And Shocker bumps Satana. The collision felt by both players. I would think for the neutral fan as Janitez checks in uh, you'd be relieved uh, to see that ball falling through the hoop for Beretta Famalisquio I mean you don't want to see a blowout you want to see a competitive game and they just were not competitive in that first quarter but it, the tables have turned just a little bit here in the second and again get your ball get the basketball back to the shields here she is and oh that is hard to believe I, I can't believe I just saw that you never know that could be a, a run changing uh, miss that should have been two points Sabali bumped and she gets in I think the shields the ball must have slipped out of her hands as she went up for the layup that's the only explanation Right now, Skio riding their luck a little bit as suddenly Fenerbahce missing some opportunities. And Sabale stops the rock and takes it back up to a 19-point advantage. Gruda pushed out and good defense. Got to get rid of the basketball. 
Hartley, who used to play with Gruden in that France team as recently as FIBA Women's Eurobasket 2019. Here she is, 32. She's a scorer and drives in and gets it to go. The Shields, good box out by Andre. And then powers her way in and gets the foul call to McBride. Good young player, great potential Andre. Played for Italy last summer, just 23 years of age. Averaging 4.8 points, 3.5 rebounds. Now Yagapova comes back in. And Kayla McBride takes the seat. And again, it's the, you know, you're facing these massive deficits. It's uh, at the free throw line where you simply have to make, take advantage of your opportunities. Olvis Andre makes one of two. So Laxa back in, Keys back in. They were anonymous, anonymous in that first quarter. Williams has it. Sabali guarded by Keys, shakes, bakes, puts it up. And should have made the layup. Janitez with the rebound, gets it out. Sabali, and again, Keys guilty of not boxing out. She was just going for the basketball. She's got to put her body on the uh, on the rebounder. Laxa. And the ball falls right into the hands of the Shields, and she is fouled by Hartley. Again, look at this. No box out. Oh, the free throws. 26 years of age. And does get the second to drop. All turned over. Here comes uh, Satana. And the dump. And Keys foul stays with it and puts it up and in. He's uh, blocked rather instead of fouled. Back to a 17 point deficit. Hasn't been this close in a while. Sabali. Hartley inside the arc. Well, you like it, Yagapova, and she's got the ball in her hands and she's creating as opposed to just uh, settling for jumpers. And this time, Sabale pushing off on Gruda. I mean, effectively, what you can say, folks, is the stage has been set for one of the most incredible comebacks of all time. If Skio can come back and win this game, and in fairness to them, they've been the better team in this second quarter. They trailed by 28 points, and they've already cut the deficit to 17. They can get it down to 15 if Gruda makes these two free throws. So grew to nine points, three rebounds. She has turned it over a few times, now has 10 points. And Gruda is gonna just take a seat and it's imperative now for Abby Gay to keep this thing moving in the right direction. Williams, good job by Abby Gay defensively. Kind of knocks it out of her hands. Keys hands it off to Satana, pulls up on the break and misses the three. They stay after it, but Sabali rebounds it. Nope. And it falls to Williams. Check the rebounding totals for Williams. She has five. Also three steals and seven points. 
She has a team high plus 14 efficiency right now. And good hesitation by Shocker Turgut. The shields. Yeah, will not drop. Crash of the boards was keys, but Williams another rebound. Six rebounds. She might have a double double by halftime. Yagapova spinning in the paint, fading. A little bit too much one on one now for Fenerbahce. And the pass to Abby Gay. And Abby Gay shows the way, and now it's a 15 point deficit for Skio. by the shields getting back getting those hands up on the pass they're trying to feed it to Sabali so nine on the shot clock great game of basketball folks I wouldn't have said this ten minutes ago but Skio are they have finally been able to improve uh, their execution and, and really, it's almost been a curse for Fenerbahce to open up that huge lead. They seem to have lost their way. And the five-second violation. Shocker couldn't get the basketball in. And Victor Lopena over there walking on front of his bench, trying to remain optimistic. Uh, but there's no doubt about it. Beretta family skew. All the momentum right now coming right back into it. Satana over to Gay. She traveled. Skio have out rebound, have uh, outscored rather Fenerbahce 18 to 7 in this second quarter. Tanner goes to the line. Makes both. Now some full court pressure here. Well, the Shields lays off, comes back. Good hands by Satana. Satana can be good if the game gets kind of crazy. She's, she's an ideal person to be in that type of uh, contest. Gets away from Zowie. Now, Keys showing her ball handling. Gets it to Laxa, who pulls up. And Laxa just cannot throw the ball into the ocean so while standing on the beach. She is uh, not in the flow at all. Oh, good dump back to Williams. And Williams misses the easy one. Another chance to get it within 13, maybe 12, and Satana's pass batted. Good play by Janitez. Excuse me, it wasn't Janitez, it was Kurtlemus. Who forced the turnover. McBride back outside. Shocker target. And the ball stays at this end with 27.8 seconds remaining. You know, it's uh, awfully difficult for anybody to fill in for Sandrine Grudy. You saw how she just put her team on her back and brought them back into this thing. And then when she goes out, it's hard to keep it going. Three-pointer, nope. And Satana able to rebound it. And now you would imagine Skia will try to hold it for one. 
Alexa, nope, she's open, so she's going to take it, and she's going to make it. So much for not shooting it from the beach into the ocean. They've cut it back to a 12-point game. Now they need a stop. Finnerbache need a basket, meanwhile, to get some momentum going back to halftime, and with 3.8 seconds remaining. Remember, folks, Skio, they trailed by 28 points in this game, and they have cut 16 points off that deficit. Unbelievable. The powers of resurrection felt or displayed by this uh, visiting Skio team. They look dead in the water. They look like they were going nowhere, and they have come back into it. So timeout asked for here by Victor La Peña. Thirty-seven twenty-five, Fenerbahce, first place in the group, locked up and just blowing out Skio by 28 points. A Skio team that needed to win today to clinch a spot in the quarterfinals. And now the Skio team has battled back. It's incredible. They're trailing by 12 points just, to, with just under four seconds remaining in the first half. Just goes to show you just got to keep playing every possession. You never know. You never, ever know. Get some easy shots, force some turnovers, hit some threes, and the next thing you know, you're right back in it. Yagapova, ooh, she had the pump fake. And not the execution they were looking for. Fenerbahce complaining, wanting a foul, but they're not going to get it. So Fenerbahce, they lead it 37 to 25 over a resurgent Beretta Famalisquio at halftime. To look back at the first half highlights between these two teams. Remember, Fenerbahce came out already in stride, pouring in the points, looking like one way traffic, everybody contributing, and uh, just making it look so easy against a very desperate, a very hungry Skio team. And Fenerbahce built a 28 point lead, if you can believe it, folks. 28 points. But that's only half the story. Because in the second quarter, Skio finally figured out they needed to tighten up defensively, start getting some better shots. And Skio outscores Fenerbahce 23 to nine in the second quarter. And here we are with Fenerbahce leading 37-25 at halftime. And without a doubt, Skio uh, just happy to be back in it right now at this stage. And they'll be looking for more of the same of what they did in that second quarter when play resumes here in Istanbul. Fenerbahce, meanwhile, will be looking to get back their focus, which clearly uh, they lost in that second quarter. Uh, so they do not suffer an ignominious collapse here against Skio. So the Spargerona fans, players they'll be watching this game thinking come on 
Fenerbahce, you got to seal the deal, win this game so we can go out and beat basket lines and get into the quarterfinals. But uh, you have to you have to imagine with Sandrine Gruda on the floor and Diamond to Shields and uh, Laxa, Lutz, and Satana, Mestag, Keys, lots to like about this Skio team if they can play at their best. You know, they've got a chance to pull off an improbable come from behind win. It's not often that teams come back from 28 points down at any stage of the game and win. Uh, so that good start to the second half is imperative uh, for Skio as they look to uh, press home uh, on the performance, continue to do what they did to get back into the game, and then hopefully uh, for them this will be a tight game going to the fourth quarter. There's no doubt Fenerbahce will come back out uh, at the start of the third quarter uh, and really uh, attempt to reassert themselves. So new signing Abby Gay scoring on the break. And Fenerbahce just not quite turning on all cylinders. Got a little bit of a, a boost from Amanda Zowie coming off the bench. See right here the offensive rebound and put back. This is good work and Laxa. You can't relax when she's on the court. Laxa finally getting one to drop and we're at halftime with a 37-25 lead. Fenerbahce on top. So we'll be right back before the start of the second half, folks.
you saw the numbers there and uh, just talking to a colleague at halftime, you realize um, this Finabache team, if they don't come out and really get on top of this Skio team in the third quarter, things can be very different. Also, you've got the prospect of Mestak potentially getting hot for Skio. So, Yagapova, McBride, you know, there's some veterans there, some young players in there. And if they come out and establish themselves on defense, uh, that, could, that could make the difference uh, for Fenerbahce. But uh, we shall see. So... Uh, that young fan there, perhaps overwhelmed with excitement, and those young fans uh, enjoying the afternoon. Satu Sabali waving to the crowd. Shocker leads all scores. Sabali and Williams each with seven, five points for Bria Hartley. That's for Fenerbahce, 10 points for Sandrine Gruda. And five for Diamond to Shields leading the way for Beretta Famalisquio. Second half action underway here in Istanbul between Fenerbahce and Beretta Famalisquio. Fenerbahce, remember, led by 28 points at the end of the first quarter and the Skio team has battled back led by that player right there Sandrine Gruda one of the legends of the early women no doubt when she hangs them up she will be looked upon as one of the all-time greats now a pass and Sabali gets it off in time and Gruda rebounds the miss and here is their chance. Skio, if they can get it down to 10, maybe nine points. Everything looks a lot, a lot different for the team from Italy. Laksa drills the three right out of the gate. Just how she finished the first half. And incredibly, improbably, unexpectedly, from out of nowhere, Skio trailing by nine points. Big possession here for Fenerbahce. Nagapova's pass kicked. Or did it just deflect? Yeah, it was kicked, so they'll put 14 on the shot clock. The shields with the kick now. Yagapova drives in. Oh boy. When you're in trouble, you go to your best player. And that's what Fenerbahce did there. Yagapova taking matters into her own hands. But the shields comes out and strokes a three. And now, or was it? Was it a three or a two? It was a three. Eight points, the deficit. Yagapova. Turns it over, three on two break. Fenerbahce is slow to get back. And Laksa fouled out on the perimeter by Shakur Turgut. Three free throws coming for Skio, folks. Call home. Tell the husband or wife, the kids, they got to turn this on. This is an incredible comeback in the making by Skio. Laksa, who really was anonymous isn't the word for it in that first half until the very end when she hit the three-pointer is now taking center stage she's hit a three now she's made the first two free throws after being fouled while shooting the three what would it do for this skio team's confidence to come back and win a game like this i mean it's already a headline story the fact that they've got a 28 point deficit to just five unbelievable Yagapova misses everything. Remember, Fenerbahce have already clinched first place in the group. They're in the quarterfinals. 
But also remember, Skio won the first battle between these two teams. And now they're threatening to pull off one of the greatest comebacks ever in EuroLeague women history. The Shields again. Good! Unreal! 39 37. Shocking! Shocker! And the rebound for Gruda hands it off. You just would not have thought this was possible, folks. I certainly did not. Not when it was 30 to 2. Now, Gruda. Satana back to Gruda. Gruda mid range. And Keys rebounds the miss. Gruda. Sometimes that last bit of the comeback is so hard to complete. Sabali, good. Well, that might settle Fenerbahce down. And that's why if you're Skio, you you at least wanted to pull level. Now you're back. In fact, was it a three? Alexa comes back and strokes a three. So in fact, Sabali was given a two. It appears. And Laxa was given a two. And now, uh, Satana fouls McBride. So the teams trade long, long jump shots, but two, point, two pointers. And then McBride does a good job of drawing the contact and making sure she gets the call by flailing, by throwing those legs. And she gets the first one to drop. Basketball is such an unpredictable game at times. So McBride makes both. And Laxa gets it outside to Keys. And pushing was Laxa. Well. Keys was wide open. You can't blame her for taking that shot. Here's Williams powering her way down, missing. Good box out by Gruda. In fact, just good rebound. To Shields, she's already hit a couple of long ones. Here she is driving in, taking what the defense gives her. So the Shields, son of Delino, the uh, daughter of Delino, the Shields, that great American baseball player back in the day, having herself quite a game now. The Shields, 13 points. Verbunden, united, inspirierend, competitiva, ambiziosa, stylish, powerful, diverse, diferente, bravo, inspiring. Team serving up uh, some great examples today. Laxa, you know, if you're a player and things are going your way, you just got to keep plugging away. Things will go right eventually. Laxa's a great shooter. And if things didn't go well for her for the majority of the first half, they certainly have ever since. And the Shields also pouring into points but the biggest lesson is it's a 40-minute game and 
man. You got to keep playing hard. Whether you're winning by 28 or whether you're losing by 28. Williams. Guarded by Gruda. <clears throat> Fouls from behind. Defense by Keys. And now the referees have to get together. Whose ball is it going to be? Both uh, referees. Watch this. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's going to be. I don't know. The call is Fenerbahce basketball. I thought they were going to give that to Skio. Freeze want to just kind of calm things down. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody's excited. Sabali. And just a little bit out of control, Sabali, right now. Now to Shields. Oh, what a pass from the Shields to Gruda. Passes it back outside to the Shields. Open for three. That would have been a go ahead shot. But again, not enough on it. McBride for three. Good. Oh no, was it a two? It looks like they gave her a, th a three. Indeed, okay. Now, Keys. Satana gets it right back. be 46-44 right now, folks. Williams goes to work on Gruda. Gruda just swats her. I believe the score is 46-44. Anyway, we'll see. And driving in and tying the basketball game is Satana. The comeback of all comebacks has taken place. Dump down low to Yagapova. She is denied, but fouled by Laksa. And again, folks, I, I'm not entirely sure. It seems like it should be Freeze need to go and review a shot, one of those three pointers, whether it counted or not. Okay, now it does look like, in fact, one of them, so one of the Fenerbahce threes was indeed a two, so it should be 46 45. I believe that is the score. They're just checking it out right now at the table. You just can't make it up. I mean, just when you thought you'd seen everything you could see in a basketball game, not only have we seen Skio come back from 28 points down, they've done it in pretty quick fashion. Okay, that was a two. That's what the dispute was. So that was not a three. And indeed, it was a two. And hence, they straightened things up. So 
Yagapova gets to the free throw line and ties it up again. 46 apiece. And it's a second to go as well. Verona back in the game. The team trailing by one. Verona oh, saw the path to the basket open up, but then uh, missed the layup. McBride pulls up and hits it. Every time you see what looks like a bad miss for Skio, Fenerbahce go to the other end and strike. So timeout on the court, 340 remaining here in the third quarter. Well, you look at points off turnovers, 15 have been scored by Fenerbahce today and nine have been scored by Skio. If you want to look at uh, the leading scores, that's the leading score right there now because she's been so good in the second half to Shields for Skio. She's got a game high 13 points. Bruta still with 10 points, 11 now for Laxa, 7 for Satana, who's been pretty tough in the second half as well. 12 points for Shakur. What she had at halftime, eight for McBride, seven for Elizabeth Williams, six for Yagapova, five for Bria Hartley. So Skio again, trailing by three points, Verona. Whips it out to the Shields and takes what the defense gives her. Yagapova flying at her, running her off the three-point line, so she scores with a runner. And McBride is feeling it right now. We talk about her pouring in the points this season. That's what she's doing right now. Verona gets it, and Andre fouled. So free throws for the Italy International. They called the foul on Bria Hartley. Andre takes her time and makes the first. And misses the second. And the pass goes off of Elizabeth Williams' hands. Verona picks up the dribble, gets it, and Gruda can't get the drop. Good battle by Andre to knock the basketball into her teammates' hands. Pass back to Gruda. Shot clock winding down. Gruda has to put it up, steps back, and banks it in. That's a long two. She's good with the shot clock winding down. But that was a very tough shot. Now McBride falls down. Yagapova looking for space. And her pass intercepted. Well, 
Maybe trying to do too much. Yagapova, and here's the Shields. Gets in, hangs in the air. Oh, she missed the layup. Second layup missed today for the Shields. Now McBride. Nowhere to go, McBride. And Andre having stepped over to get in her way. Wasn't able to go chase the basketball down. She kind of lost her balance. Crippa back in the game, guarding the basketball. She's on McBride. Williams going old school, missing with a hook shot, but fouled by Sandra and Gruda. Well, you heard Gruda asking what the foul was, but Williams back at the line. This is the first. Twenty-eight-year-old center misses both free throws, and Andre, who was battling in there, trying to get the rebound, pushed Fenerbahce away. Look at that! She's pushing Zowie out of the frame, and then Yagapova is called for a push. Clearing out with her left hand, so Skio can now reclaim the lead. Hardly trying to put some full court pressure on Verona. Oh boy, telegraph pass. And then the Shields amazingly gets it back and then turns it over again. Zowie. And the Shields, for whatever reason. Commits the foul with a team over the limit. I don't know why she gives this foul away. She gave that away cheaply, and now she reaches in and commits the foul and puts Zowie on the line. She was fouling almost as if they hadn't committed any fouls. But who knows? Maybe it's going to pay off. Maybe she's going to miss both, and they'll get it back. So finally, after a span of three straight missed free throws, Fenerbahce knock one down and go up by two points. Gruda, quick pass, oh, Lax's pass. Oh, fortunately for Skio, ended up in their hands. Andre, oh, good spin, just didn't score. She's guarding Sabali. Zabali with a pump fake. And then hands it off to Zowie. Good pass. Boy, Zowie's played well today. Verona. Bounce pass. And the reach by Hartley. Uh, but the referee says it's going to be Skio basketball. Good quick hands by Hartley to knock it out of bounds. So Laxa back into the game. Abby Gay, I think, is going to spell Gruda just for a little while to get the uh, France star a little bit of rest here between the, at the end of the quarter and then the changeover. Skio needs some points. Here's Gay. Right decision not to put it up. Laxa for three. The only thing is, why do you take it so soon? You've given them time to score. Sabali out of control. Uh, but the foul called on Skio. Well, it looked like uh, Laxa maybe stepped in just a little too late.
So really the biggest problem is is why Skio took the shot as early as they did. If you wanna if you wanna be brutally honest. They've just given them away two points, potentially. And they have indeed. And Alexa. And good defense in the end by Yagapova. So a little bit of a recovery from Fenerbahce right at the end of the third quarter. They lead it 57 51. 10 minutes remaining. So Fenerbahce on top, 57-51 against Beretta Famalaskio at the end of three. Skio needing to win this game to clinch a spot in the quarterfinals. Fenerbahce are already there. But remember, if you're just joining us, or if you, if you weren't aware, Fenerbahce led by 28 points in this game at the end of the first quarter. And... Uh, by halftime, that lead had been cut to just 12 points. And then the third quarter, Skio battled back to take the lead. Only for Fenerbahce now to go to the fourth quarter. Back on top, 11 points apiece for Satu Sabali and Kayla McBride for Fenerbahce. 12 points for Ojai Shakur, Turgut. And 7 for Elizabeth Williams. 6 for Elena Yagapova. She also has 6 assists. However, Yagapova has not had a great game today. She's turned it over 6 times. So she's got 6 of her team's 14 turnovers. And in fact, that's a game high six turnovers. Gruda has turned it over four times. Uh, however, does have 12 points and eight rebounds for Skio. Laxa with 11 points, 15 for Diamond the Shields. And that little fan there is loving it. That's right. Sing along. So, Bria Hartley. And Verona here in their team's lineups at the start of the fourth quarter, folks. It's a good one, 57-51. Fenerbahce on top of Beretta Family Skio. Skio needing to win to clinch a spot in the quarterfinals. If they lose and Girona win uh, their game against Basket Lawns, then Girona, Spar Girona will move into the quarterfinals. And... Uh, Beretta Family Skio would go into the Euro Cup women at the quarterfinal stage. And now uh, the momentum back with Fenerbahce. So Gay commits the foul on the perimeter. Kapova drives in, not going to be denied. And the lead, now eight points once again for Fenerbahce. Laxa bumps, puts it up, and can't get it to drop. Satana out of the game, Gruda out of the game. How long can that stay for Dikalakis and Skio? Sabali, good! Wow. Unreal. Sabali, I'll tell you what, it is a Jekyll and Hyde performance today for this Fenerbahce team. They've either been excellent or really poor, and right now they are excellent and back on top. Sabali, meanwhile, just keeps making great plays. She's got 14 points, four rebounds, and an assist. She and Elizabeth Williams each plus 13. Elizabeth Williams, eight rebounds to go with her seven points. Oh, 
a great ambiance here in Istanbul. This game being played in the Metro Energy Sports Hall. The music, the fans, the teams. We're not that far away from the quarterfinals. We know this team will be there, Fenerbahce. And the big question is, will Beretta Famalisquio also be in the quarterfinals? Or will it, in fact, be Spar Girona? Spar Girona, no doubt, watching, rooting for Fenerbahce. Because then they would be in control of their own destiny. So after the timeout, Satana indeed has come back into the game as well as uh, De Shields, as well as Bruda. So the big three back out there, certainly the big two. And Hartley, great defense. Forcing the turnover and the foul. In fact, it was Zowie who was not giving an inch and forced the turnover. Zowie has uh, very quietly had a very solid game today uh, for Fenerbahce. Sabali. Oh, and Dikalakis has just been slapped with a technical foul. And he's going to get his money's worth now. He is barking away over there on the sidelines. Not sure what he said. Well, I don't think the referee liked him uh, trying to call the travel. Well, the referee will... They will listen to you and they will give warnings but there comes a time when the referee is has heard enough and Dekalakis has been teed up Fenerbahce fans hoping to go home happy tonight, which they will if their team can hold on. So, right now, they're saying they're going to count the layup by Sabali. And that also, she was fouled. I believe. In the, in the grand scheme of things. Okay, no, sorry. So it's going to be Kayla McBride taking the technical free throw. They count the layup. And it should be Skio basketball. So now the lead is going back up to 14 points. But surely Laxa, the Shields, Bruda have to be the battering Rams, and Laxa has her shot blocked. Great defense out on the perimeter by Sabali, and then the ball thrown out of bounds. There's no need for Fenerbahce to be in such a rush. They're up 14 points. Well, that's just great defense by Sabali. Skio need to need to rediscover their mojo. Nice pass to Gruda. They get it over to the Shields. She was as hot as a firecracker, but now she's missed. And Sabali fouled once again by Satana. And the smiles have returned. Sabali 
has uh, come to play in the second half. She now has 17 points. Make it 18. She's playing well on defense. Satana. Gruda. Tough shot by Gruda. Well, do they have another great second comeback in them? They've got to slow down Sabali. So the ball goes off of Skio and out of bounds. Yagapova will inbound the basketball, or try to anyway, with 12 seconds to go on the shot clock. 7-19, still plenty of time, but they need to get stops, and look at that. They weren't aware the ball was just sitting there. Fortunately for them, McBride's shot was short. I like the shields in this situation. Yep, getting in there with the dribble, then she's fouled by Sabali. the shields because you feel like when push comes to shove if she gets some space to shoot while driving she is going to score also laxa laxa was i think trying too hard to uh initiate contact there to potentially get to the free throw line it messed up her shot and who's going to get the call here and looks like it's going to be Sabali. Well, that is a very tight call there. That could go either way. And the forgotten Kim Mestag comes into the game. So Laxa has four fouls, has to go out. has lit the touch paper for Fenerbahce in this fourth quarter. And she now has 20 points. Just a crazy game. You couldn't have imagined how this thing would have gone back and forth the way that it has with such big swings. A nice give and go. And good follow by Gruda. Oh, she misses... She stays with it, gets blocked again. And then the foul down low. And Skio just struggling to, to get anything right now. Great job there by Satana. So Olbis Andre is going to go out of the game. And Keys, who's been out for quite a while, is coming back in. Well, when you're down 16 points, six and a half minutes, you have to say the clock is uh, already the enemy for the Skio team. They, they need stops and points. Yagapova, wide open Hartley. Nope, she gets it to Sabali. This time shows she's not perfect. She had done everything right in the fourth quarter before that. Now pulling up on the break and missing the open three, Satana. Yagapova. Wow. What a shot from number 23. Alina Yagapova brings a little bit of rain with that high arcing three. Give it to me, she says. So another timeout, and the lead is going back to 19 points for Fenerbahce.
Well, push comes to shove. This Fenerbahce team is out rebounded. Uh, Beretta family skio today, 36-31. Uh, but uh, more importantly, they shot better inside the arc and outside the arc. Shooting almost 59% inside the arc, 19 of 34. And beyond it, shooting uh, thir almost 32%, 6 of 19. And Beretta Famalaskio has struggled today, 19 of 58 from the floor, 14 of 36 inside the arc. That's not going to cut it. 39% and 5 and 22 from deep. So Laxa with the forlorn look over there. Exasperated look, rather. Having picked up her fourth foul out of the game. Watching, hoping for another miracle comeback. Satana, top of the key. That's good. Well, just like the first time, you just got to keep playing possessions. But the problem is the time now. It's 5.20. And really, if Fenerbahce make their shots, it's going to make it difficult. And the long rebound goes out to Shocker Turgut. So they are over the limit, and Skio in real trouble now as Shocker. Turgut goes to the line and makes the first. She makes both. Mestag open follows up the miss and the foul called Kim Mestag has played just under 12 minutes has yet to score a point and you're talking about a very high level player albeit coming off the bench today and gets the first one to go And the second. So Kayla McBride back into the game. She's in the backcourt with Hartley. Williams over to Shocker as well. So three guard lineup. Sabali handles it well. Is Here's Shocker. And another long rebound corralled by Shocker. Shocker Turgut. Bria Hartley. That would have been a dagger. Here comes Delino, or Delino's daughter, Diamond. Diamond Shields. Over to the corner. Mestag. Did not want to give her an open look. Keys. And with the shot clock winding down, she puts one up. Kim Mestag, you almost think, has to, without, even if she's closely guarded, put that three up. Driving in. Oh, boy. Nice finish there by Satu Sabali. Up to Mistag, finishing sweetly with the left hand. They can't trade baskets. They got to get some stops, some points. Verona's going to check back in, bring her energy, try to create some turnovers. Here's Shocker. Backing up. Gets blocked. Oh, great defense by Satana. 
And, well, she'll just take the two because they're giving it to her. And it's back to a 13-point. I think it's a 13-point deficit. Yes, it is. 76-63 is three. Slow to register those points for Beretta Famalaskiu. I think uh, one of the keys must be stuck. But it is indeed 76 63. They've uh, given the two points to Fenerbahce, I believe. Here we go. And now you need to take those two points away from Fenerbahce, and we'll be all square. Should be 76 63. There you go. So Satana with that layup. 11 points. Well, the second half has all been about Sabali. And she's done it primarily from outside. Just give you the numbers. Sabali, 22 points on 6 of 13 shooting. She's 2 of 6 from 3-point range, 4 of 7 inside the arc, 6 rebounds. A block. She does have four fouls. So, under three minutes remaining. Coming out of the timeout, Esquio can get a stop in points. They might give themselves a chance, but those offensive rebounds by Fenerbahce in here late in the fourth quarter have been a killer. Now to their prospects. Sabali again and gets to the drop. Oh, tough pass. So Janitez comes in and it looks more and more like Skio are now going to need a big favor from Basket Lons as the Sable goes out. Basket Lons will take on Spar Girona. Shocker drives in. She's been tough today. So Spartaruna will play on Wednesday night, the 23rd, against Basket Lawns. That game will be in Catalonia, in Girona. And that Skio team will be pulling hard for Basket Lawns to get a big win on the road against a very good Girona team. Otherwise, Girona, if they get the win, they will be booking their place in uh, the EuroLeague Women quarterfinals. And the ball intercepted by McBride. So, what was an absolutely enthralling game when Beretta Famalaskio came back from a 28-point deficit to actually take the lead. Fenerbahce have reclaimed control of this game, and they are going to finish uh, with an impressive win. Diamond to Shields makes the jump shot. Back to an 82-65 lead for Fenerbahce. So Shocker, Turga goes out. She's got 16 points. Good game for her. Her team's second leading score today. Hartley. Verona. Verona. 
And Mestag off target. Final 45 seconds ticking off the clock. Fenerbahce putting, uh, I wouldn't say an exclamation mark on the regular season, uh, but certainly showing they can overcome some, some adversity. Again, they kind of lost their way in the second quarter. And also in the third, they were in trouble, but they have come back and taken command. And they will win here at home over Beretta Famila Skio. Again, Skio will need a favor from Basket Lawns to win at Spar Girona if they're going to make it to the quarterfinals. Those two teams will play on Wednesday. So here in the Metro Energy Sports Hall in Istanbul, Turkey, Fenerbahce prevail 82-65 over Beretta Famalisquio. Fenerbahce had already clinched his spot in the quarterfinals. They have already clinched first place in the group, and now Skio need a favor, a big one at that, from Basket Lawns, who will travel to Spain, to the north of Spain, to take on Spar Girona. Needing Basket Lawns to win that game uh, so they, too, can go to the quarterfinals. Otherwise, it'll be Spar Girona who do it, folks. 82-65, to Fenerbahce win over Beretta Family Skio. Well, selfie time. I think you can pretty much tell uh, which social media that's going to go on. Just go look for Amanda Zowie. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be Twitter. Oh, no, that'll be somebody else. I'm not sure where to find that one. Sorry, folks. Fenerbahce fans doing, uh, doing their team proud today as they came out to support them. Thanks for watching, everybody. And Fenerbahce, again, they open up that big lead, 30-2 to two at the end of the first quarter. But Skio uh, getting a, a strong effort from Sandra and Gruda. Kind of dug in and gave themselves a shot with a terrific second quarter. And Gruda's uh, effort kind of rubbed off on her teammates. Keys coming out, hitting that put back. And then you had Abby Gay scoring on the break. a 12-point game at halftime, and then Laxa struck from downtown at the start of the third quarter. Yagapova was able to score with the left hand to go back to 11, but look at this. Skio battled all the way back to within two. Kayla McBride hitting a long two. And again, Sabali 
for a penetration. Dumps it off to Zowie, who was tough today. Making it 55-51. Gruda stepping back in desperation mode and hitting that long three, but then Federbanche. Well, they got to grips with things. Really came out stronger in the fourth quarter and just kind of put this thing away. So, Fenerbahce winning convincingly in the end at home. Getting some, some highlight reel shots from the likes of Alina Yagapova. Also, more from Satu Sabali. And Elizabeth Williams getting in on the act. So that's how it finishes. 82 to 65 today. Fenerbahce prevail over Beretta Famalisquio. Thanks for watching, everybody. Look, you can see again the uh, the shooting numbers: six of twenty-two for Fenerbahce inside the arc. Excuse me, six of twenty-two from three-point range, twenty-three of forty-two inside the arc, eighteen of twenty-two at the line. That's an important stat. Those free throws: twelve of fifteen at the line for Skio. They just really uh, don't even look at that number there on the right. They weren't one of four. They were from two-point range. They were nineteen of forty-one inside the arc 24 66 overall so rebounding advantage assist advantage for Fenerbahce and each team finished with six blocks so one final time 82 65 Fenerbahce winning